Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I'm here with a video to show you how to mod Halo 2 on the Xbox 360. And what you're going to need is a transfer cable. And this does not work with a flash drive, so... Because the flash drive has no way to access all the Halo 2 files. Or the original Xbox files. So, once you have uh, your transfer cable, you just simply plug your hard drive into the transfer cable and into the computer. And then what I use is Modio. You can use USB Explorer, but when I use USB Explorer, it, my, it won't show up the files because I don't know my hard drive screwed up. But anyway, you'll put, I'm gonna use Modio. So what, whatever you use, just do what I do. So in this video, I'm gonna be using Modio. So if you just click that, and then you're gonna open up a file. Now explore my device. Excuse me, my bad. <laughs> So, and then it's going to bring up a little device explorer that's built into Mario, which is pretty nice. And then you hit file, open, drive. And it's going to be loading device. So, yeah. This takes a couple seconds. Shouldn't really take that long. I mean, it's a 320 gigabyte hard drive. I have a lot of stuff on it, but, <laughs> but it's alright. There you go. It shows up like that because... When it's on the 360, it is, those are like smiley symbols. So, so yeah. But anyway, so once it's done loading, all the Halo 2 files are on partition 3. So yeah. I believe over here is the emulator, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so partition 3, make sure you're on that. Now if you hit content, that's all the regular 360 seeds, like your Xbox Live account. But you're going to hit compatibility original Xbox files. Click on that, Xbox One. All right, now you data. That's where all your game types are, and your you know your uh, profiles and game types for Halo Two are. And T data is all your maps. So we're gonna be modifying a map right now. So we're gonna go to T data. The one with the sixty four at the very end is Halo Two, and then the only thing you can select here is money sign C. So you click on that. Oh, let me can I explain expand that. There you go. Now all four of these are subfolders. Like this is a map pack right here. That's another map pack, map pack, map pack. Uh if you click like if you click on it, it these are the two maps in that map pack. Warlock containment. If you click on another one, the, the, you know, the each map pack. But we're gonna be modifying turf. So what are you gonna do? You uh just drag your map onto the desktop. Alright, so I can extract it right now. Yeah, it doesn't take that long. But when you're injecting a map, it kind of takes a little bit, but not that long. So yeah, once you have your map extracted, just minimize. See, our map's right here now. Now, just for this video, I'm going to be using Dot .halo. That's like really a program I use a lot, so... I'll put links in the description, so... So yeah, open up Dot .halo. Our map's right there, so remember that. Alright, just open up your map. Alright, computer is a little. Uh, so, Alright, so you're gonna look for turf. It, oh, yeah, by the way, only new maps, the DLC maps, uh, you can mod on the 360 because they're on a hard drive. The old maps are on the CD. But if you have an original Xbox, you can mod those. But anyway, so you can open up your turf map. So, if whoever's familiar to modding, like, knows how to do this, this, you know, don't even bother. But, you know, this is just some, for a couple of you that have requested this. So, I'm just going to explain a couple. Biped is, like, your character. You jump height or, and stuff like that. So, if you want to change your jump height, you hit whatever character. I, I always play the Master Chief. So, Master Chief MP multiplayer. You select that. And then, I don't know, it depends what the Halo you're using, but you just click on Tag Editor. Somewhere where you see Jump Height. See, the default, that's a regular 3.08. I usually do, you know, it depends, like, Turf, uh, I'll do probably, I don't know, let's do 7, because, you know, it's a small map. And then, now you can jump a little higher, and you hit OK. Uh, there you go. Now, Bitmap is the skins, but... That's something, another video. Uh, you know. 
Uh, let's just get to the basics. Uh, if you want to change the speed, you hit global. But you need the latest version of the hail. But uh, I'll put that link in the description so you can have this. It takes a little while because it's kind of a big tag. This tag, you can change uh, grenades, like what kind of, you know, the projectile grenade and uh, super speed. You can change the character speed. Alright, now you go to uh, tag editor. Now look, I'm just giving you an example. If you, say if you're modding a campaign level, you will go under here. This is for single player, so I don't even. But, but we're doing turf, so see two point. This is how I make my maps. I do all of them like this because this is like the perfect speed. And then when you crouch. Like, if people join your game and they crouch, it, they're, they're going to fly across the map. So, that's why I put 4,000. So, yeah. It's, like, perfect. And you just hit save. Now, you have super speed on turf. Uh, it's a long tag, so it's whatever. So, yeah, let us do that. It's just applying it, you know. It's... Yeah. All right, so now we have we can we have super jump and super speed. Now, if you want to change what a gun shoots, you just simply hit weapon. Click on it. Now, if you uh, modded Halo One on a computer once uh, before, you do not copy none of this because then it, whatever the result of doing that is the non modder will you know will freeze their Xbox. So that's not the proper way of doing it. So all right, let's just mod a couple guns. Just the basic, you know. Uh, it's the SMG. So you click on it, and then you go to tag. No, it's dependencies. Tag editor will be after, and then look for the PROJ, which is projectile. You just simply click on that, and then you click the drop down arrow right here, and it'll show like all the guns projectiles. So we're gonna make the SMG shoot Bantry bombs. So you select Bantry bomb, and you're gonna hit save changes, and you hit OK. And then you hit save changes here. And it's going to apply it. Now the SMG shoots out Banshee Bombs. If you want the SMG to have infinite ammo. Also also for the non modder this, this is the way I do it. So so you hit clip. Zero. Alright, listen. You don't have to touch this if you don't want it. But if you, all, if you want infinite ammo, that's it. Like All you have to do is just do... Sim, uh, it's an SMG, so it's automatic. So I'll do, I usually do like 30. That's it, you have infinite ammo. Non modders have it as well. There. It's pretty basic. So, that's how you do like a basic project. Oh, projectile. Now, if you go to Magnum, dependencies, same idea, projectile. Now, if you want to, like, for example, make it shoot an overshield, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit this drop down arrow. Now, instead of projectile, um, Overshields are under equipment, EQIP. Now you gotta select it again because it sometimes does that. There you go. Now, these are all the stuff in the equipment tag. And you need to hit Overshield. Hit OK. See, stuff like that. You just play around with stuff. But if you do like the wrong items, like your wrong tag, like it'll freeze your Xbox. But you know, just basic stuff, really. So. The Magnum and the SMG we modded. So that's it for, for a basic mod. Now you hit fix encryption. And you X out of the halo. Put this map on the thing, it's not gonna work. You have to re resign the map. Every single mod uh, mod you do, you gotta do that. Or else you're gonna get on your screen, fail to load map. So, if, sorry, if I can find it, I have a lot of programs, like 25 gigabytes. <laughs> Uh, there it is. This is like the one I use all the time. I really like it. So, yeah, you just any resign it will work. I mean, if you can't find one, I'll just provide it in the description. So, you just look for the map that we just modded, which is turf, and you scroll down to find it. Well, turf right there. Hit resign.
and it's all set. You just modded turf, and now if you put it on your Xbox, it's gonna work. So you go back to Mario, or whatever you're using, and you just simply drag it into there. And it already exists, which we're gonna replace it. This is a clean map, and we're replacing it with a um a modded one. So I'm gonna pause it. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pause this because it takes a little bit of time. So all right. So once it's there, you're done. That's how you mod a turf map. Now, hold on. Just let me clarify something. Uh, where is it? I'm sorry. Uh, what I was saying earlier. Sorry, I'm trying to minimize most of these. The, the game type and game uh profile. I already made a video how to do that. And if you watch that video closely, it's kind of the same exact thing, same idea. You know, all this stuff to data you data you can find on the original Xbox. So, but anyway. So you're done. You just modified a Halo 2 map. So, Woohoo! <laughs> so yeah, it's that it does that, but it it won't do that for you. But anyway, hope that helped you all those modern tutorials. So I'm just gonna show you a little video of what it looks like. So yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. If you're wondering what the name of my hard drive was, that's what it is. On a computer, it shows up uh, like that because there are known characters. But yeah, let me boot up Halo 2. Alright, so once you have Halo 2 on, you have the 1.1 update. Oh, on our original Xbox, I have 1.5. So you just sign in. That's my account. That's, my, that's the only one I use. Just go to System Link, wherever. And I'm gonna put Turf. All my new map, most of my maps are modded, but so I'm gonna do turf. I just like to put my game type on. I think that's it. So, oh, before I forget, so let me put the weapons that we modded, which are the SMG. I don't feel like using my capture card, and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, SMG and Magnum. Oh, there we go. And boot it up. As you can see, it's gonna work. Slayer. So you can run, jump high. If we shoot the SMG, hold on. Banshee bombs. It has an infinite ammo though. Pretty cool. Uh, the Magnum shoots over shields. Oh, I forgot to make that infinite ammo. Sorry. But yeah, as you can see, the mods work. But playing with one hand, obviously, it's kind of not really fun. But <laughs> but yeah, you jump high, all that fun stuff. So yeah, just showing you that it works. <coughs> funny when you fly to Warhog or um, someone's driving it, and you could like shoot over. Oh, it's pretty funny. But if I can get into it, there we go. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that though. I have the stereo speakers on. I think it's another SMG, right? Yeah, it should be like right here, I think. Oh, could do well that. Hold on. Alright, check this out. <laughs> crazy. But yeah, anyway, I did. For this video, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just comment right there, right below this video. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.